This is the Bloomington Commission update for June 2016. Human Rights, LGBT Pride Month. June is LGBT Pride Month. We can help. If you feel you have been discriminated against in Bloomington, call the Bloomington Human Rights Commission at 952-563-8733. Mediation Brochure. The Commission has a brochure on mediation services available to individuals who feel they may have been discriminated against in Bloomington. The brochure is available in English and Spanish. For a copy of the brochure, call 952-563-8733. Exhibit. Currently available at the Minnesota Science Museum, Race, Are We So Different? is an exhibit from 9.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Take a cultural and scientific look at race throughout history and discover the many reasons we should celebrate our differences and embrace our shared histories. Speaker Julie Farnham, Senior Planner, Community Development Department, will speak about the city's comprehensive plan Forward 2040, Taking Shape Together, at the June 20th HRC meeting. E-Subscribe Keep informed about HRC news and activities. E-Subscribe will automatically notify you when updates are posted to the city's website about topics that you choose are important to you. To sign up for E-Subscribe, visit the city's homepage at bloomingtonmn.gov. Recorded City Message. The After Hours message on the city's answering machine has been recorded in Chinese, English, Russian, Somali, Spanish, and Vietnamese. May we speak to your group? Commission members are available to make a presentation or discuss any concerns you may have. Call 952-563-8733 to schedule a commissioner to speak or attend your group. Commission Postcard. The HRC Postcard is now available in several languages. English, Chinese, Russian, Somali, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Get involved. The nine-member Human Rights Commission meets the third Monday of each month at 5.30 p.m. in the McLeod Conference Room at Bloomington Civic Plaza at 1800 West Old Shakopee Road. The public is encouraged to attend. Community Center Task Force. A member of the HRC serves on the Community Center Task Force that began meeting April 4th. The task force will study the potential future of a new community center. Advisory Board of Health, Duties. The Advisory Board of Health researches and evaluates issues of health and environment and reports to the City Council those issues that affect the City. May 24, 2016. Alyssa LaRose Smith, Community Health and Volunteer Services Manager at Fairview Southdale Hospital, gave a presentation on services for social and emotional well-being intentional injury prevention and mental illness. Eileen O'Connell, Health Promotion and Planning Manager, provided information on Public Health's Statewide Health Improvement Program, or SHIP, work plan and the grant writing process. Nick Kelly, Assistant Public Health Administrator, provided an update to the board regarding the Public Health Accreditation Board's upcoming site visit to Bloomington Public Health on June 2nd and 3rd, 2016. Bonnie Paulson, Public Health Administrator, noted that the City Council recently approved a license and conditional use permit to allow a medical marijuana distribution facility, Minnesota Medical Solutions, to open in Bloomington. Next meeting, June 28th, 2016, Bloomington Public Health Building at 1900 West Old Shakopee Road from 6 to 8 p.m. For more information, call 952-563-8900. Housing and Redevelopment Authority. Upcoming meetings. Tuesday, June 14th, 2016 at 5.30 p.m. in the Dakota Conference Room. And Tuesday, June 28th, 2016 at 5.30 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Approved funding for the 2016 Senior Community Services Home Program. Approved resolution authorizing interfund loan for Knox and American TIF District. Assistant City Manager Elizabeth Tolzman presented city strategic initiatives and priorities. For more information, visit the city's website at bloomingtonmn.gov. Parks, Art and Recreation, New Business. 
heard a renaming request for a running park softball field number two, heard information about an upcoming invasive species removal event, appointed M. Holm to the Cultural Arts Funding Review Panel. Continuing business, approved the Cultural Arts Organization's 2015 annual reports, approved the Deer Management Plan, heard an update on the Community Center Task Force Alternative Transportation Plan and the Minnesota River Valley Strategic Plan, reviewed the Parks and Recreation Projects and Programs Update, City Council Action Pertaining to Parks and Recreation, and the Park and Recreation Manager's Report. Other business, held the May 25th study meeting for park tours. Planning Commission, June 9, 2016. Study meeting canceled. June 16, 2016. South Loop Investments LLC applicant, 8150 26th Avenue. Final development plan for a multi-tenant restaurant and retail building. South Loop Investments LLC applicant, 8100 and 8150 26th Avenue and 2400 and 2500 East 82nd Street. Master sign plan for the Alpha B plan development. Joel Petick, applicant and owner, 8100 Pillsbury Avenue. Conditional use permit for outdoor storage as a primary use and variances for site improvements, continued from May 5th. Tender Care Learning Center, user, CCF2 LLC, owner, 8040 Old Cedar Avenue. Conditional use permit for an approximately 5,300 square foot daycare center. International Montessori Academy of Minnesota, user, Peace Evangelical Lutheran Church, owner, 8600 East Bush Lake Road. Conditional use permit for a daycare center within an existing place of assembly. Janice Bergston, applicant and owner, 620 Mission Road. Recreational vehicle permit to park and store a 24-foot Class 2 recreational vehicle less than 5 feet from the side property line. City of Bloomington. City code amendments to allow public and utility structures within the Bluff Protection 1 and Bluff Protection 2 overlay zoning districts, thereby amending sections 19.38.01 and 19.38.02 of the city code. June 30th, 2016, meeting canceled. That's the Bloomington Commission update for June 2016.